Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered. God's beauty is all around us, and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello, and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klish, and you're going to be journeying with me across the canvas. Today, we're still in the Grand Canyon. Uh, I had hoped to finish the painting in my home studio from our last episode, but I, I did quite a bit of work in the background and I brought that more to a finished state. And then today I wanted to show you a little bit about how I work with a palette knife and how I can bring this part of the painting, the foreground, all of this right in here that is so vivid and colorful, how I can bring that all to life on my canvas with my palette knife. So that's my goal for the day. Um, I'm really glad you joined me. And once again, this is Painting Journeys, and my name is Kitty Lynn Klish. And we're going to journey into the Grand Canyon today. All righty, thank you for joining. Okay, first thing I have to do here is um, mix up some paint. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of time here. I'm just, I'm using my, my normal palette, the same one that I always use. It's probably kind of boring to look at the same thing every every show, but this is, this is what I use. I'm gonna mix up some, a variety of, of colors here and have them ready to go because when you're working with a palette knife, you don't really want to um, always have to stop and, and remix. So I want some nice colors in here that I'm seeing and um, that will be, you know, some nice cool colors for those, the, the shadowed areas and some nice warm, vibrant colors to, to show you the beautiful red rocks. Um, as you can see off in the distance, it's, it's very, very gray, very, um, um, there's almost like a haze that sits in the canyon. And so I tried to bring the background a little more to life than what I saw in the photograph. Tried to stay pretty true to it, you know, um, as far as showing depth. Um, I got lots of violets in here and lavenders and, and, and everything because I did want to show the depth and the, um, the distance. But I also um, know that it uh, isn't as attractive when you show it so gray and, and um, almost foggy looking like the photograph is. Okay. And we're mixing more colors and mixing some darks and some lights and mixing some reds and the complements, some greens with them. And just kind of thinking out loud here and shooting from the hip like I usually do. And if anybody out there has noticed, yes, I did get all of my hair cut off. Um, the reason I did that was um, because I just thought it was time to simplify life. And you know, there's nothing better than having a simplified life, right? So I got it cut off and I like it and I hope you like it too. But if you don't, 
please don't let me know because there's nothing I can do now. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> All right, enough about my hair. Um, well, while I'm mixing away here, one thing I would like to share with all of you so that you there watching this episode can just say a simple little happy birthday to Lacey, my camera girl today. She just is turning 20. She's finally out of the terrible teens. Lucky girl. So she's nice enough to come in on her birthday and be my camera girl. I should say camera woman. She's not a girl anymore. She is woman. All right, let me see here. Do we have enough to get started here? Probably not. I'm talking more than I should. Um, let's make some lighter colors here. You know, this is the part of, the, of painting that takes the absolute longest, is mixing up the, um, the colors. I know some artists that actually will take and mix up every color and value from cool to warm that, they're going, that they see that they're going to use in the painting before they'll ever pick up a brush and lay it to the canvas. I'm, I, that doesn't work for me. I'm a little too impatient. <laughs> I want to start painting. I don't want to waste any more time than I have to in this mixing color business. I want to really, I see a beautiful red glow in here and I want to capture that. And I'm trying to get just the right color to do that. So maybe I will have to do a little mixing as I go here. Let's see, how does this look next to this? Well, pretty good, not bad. All right, we can start with that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go over to, I'm gonna take a smaller knife and I'm gonna go over to this area right in here. It's a little bit darker right here, coming down. Now, if I put this on here, immediately I notice that it's not dark enough or um, in the, to tell the back from the front. So I have to go in and adjust that and make what is behind just a little bit darker in order for it to show up with the, um, the rock in the front. So I'm gonna take the brush, because I just wanna do this softly, and I wanna come right in here. Oh goodness, now I can't hardly even see it. All right, let's see here, right in here, and I wanna darken this. So that we can see what I'm gonna do with this, um, little outcropping here of rock. And we'll just make that go up so that it looks like it's coming down. This is a big mountain right in here. And I think I'll just soften some of these lines here. Now I'll, I'll see, I got that brush in my hand and. Here I go, wanting to make those adjustments. Can't ever leave anything alone. All right. There, now we'll be able to see that just a wee bit better, I think. And then down here, we're gonna have a little bit of light back there, give a little bit of distance. Okay, now back to the knife, all right? Um, so I'm thinking that this here is just a little bit Coming down about like so. There's a little bit of an outcropping right in here. And then on the top here, it is quite light. 
and it's light back in there too. And then there's a few little variations in there. Okay, a little bit um, of the dark. Coming right down here. I got the nicest email from a lady the other day in Massachusetts. And it was so it was so great to hear from um, someone that actually watches the, my show and follows along on on my uh, website and and my blog. Uh, um, that was really such a good feeling, and she was so encouraging, and I, I really, she evidently really likes the program, and, and it, it was just such a pleasure to, to hear from, from her. And I, I highly encourage any of you that have the notion to go ahead and and e email me uh, or, or go to my website and contact me and tell me what you think of the show and, and if you're learning anything or if you, if you feel like you are, um, you know, uh, like you're actually seeing places that you've never been to or that you would have liked to have visited, visited or possibly maybe even you have visited it, and I'm bringing back some good memories for you. That, that would be very nice. I would love to hear from you. Okay, now I see just a little bit of green in here. So we'll just put a little bit of green right there. Okay, and there's a little more right in here. All right, that's kind of growing on the top there. I uh, want this right here just... Don't want to lose all that light. That light is really important right there. Okay. All right, now um, I'm going to go down in here. I see some light that's coming right there. And then it comes up here. And it's coming across here. Whoops, not nearly enough paint, Kitty. Uh, it's coming here, and then this is actually going up more at an angle right there, like so, and coming around. And down here. And then we have these little steps here with the light, real light uh, areas, and some light right in here on the other side of this tree. I hope that the, the um, sound of the palette knife is not too annoying I know it sounds like chalk on a blackboard sometimes. Okay, that, all right, that fixes that area. All right, now right in here, it's just a little bit, coming down right in here, it's just a little bit different in the, in the color and coming over to here. That's just a little different. It's mostly light. Um, right in this area. I mean, mostly light right in this area here. And not so light right here because the sun is obviously not hitting right here where I'm painting. Okay, so that comes right in there. Now we have this beautiful red, bright red that's coming down here. Hmm, I have to tone that down a little bit. That looks a little bright. There we go, that's a little better. And it does get a little bit darker. Right in here when we go, where we go into the shadow, in this corner, 
in a little corner there. There we go. We have a little bit of this coming out here, a little jutting out. And then this right in here is very dark. So I'm going to take some Payne's Gray and some Alizarin Crimson, and I want to make a nice, rich, rich dark for, for in that area. And I'm going to take a smaller knife, too. I, ha I brought my little baby one. Oh, shoot, did I get it out? Yep, here's my little baby knife. Isn't that cute? Actually, what it is is a big knife that had to be ground down because I, I bent it. There we go. And that's going to come out here a little bit and come down and come in here. Okay. And it comes up there a little bit. And we need a little bit of the red on top of the dark right here. You know, I just may end up going back to the brush because I don't like the way this is looking. I wanted it to be nice and jagged looking and everything, and I maybe I'll just make some of my finishing touches with the uh, with a knife. I don't know. I just I'm not getting the I'm not getting what I what I want out of this. I need a little more definition here. Okay, let's see here. Alrighty. I can go a lot faster with a um, with a uh, brush also. There's so many colors, you know. It it's just amazing to look at something like this. Um, and you know, if you look at this outline right here. Doesn't that resemble a woman standing there, a pregnant woman? I always see things in the rocks. Oh well, I'm not going to paint it like it looks like a pregnant woman, but that's what I see in the photograph. But then when we were on our road trip, everybody, my son and my granddaughters were all kidding me because I saw things in the rocks everywhere. And they say, there she goes again. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. There's a little bit of dark right up in there and some dark right down in here. And then this is coming out more and coming down here, and then it's making a little bulge right in there. This should have a little bit of a edge right here and coming down so that we can see that that's coming back like that. There we go. We have a violet, a violet shadow. It's quite pretty that it is being cast by the tree right in, down in here. And uh, I kind of lost my tree when I was working on it in the studio at home, but we'll get it back. And then these little steps here. And I think I really still want a little more of the red in here, let's see. You have to be careful. You don't want it to look garish, but at the same time, you want to show that beauty that we're seeing there. Okay, and we've got another dark area right in here. 
See that right there? Okay, that's about straight down from the tree, so it's right about right in here. It's not real dark, it's just a little area there that is coming down. This maybe has just a little bit more dark in it. I think I need a little more red in my dark, it's too cold. I need it to be just a little warmer, maybe a little green in it. And we'll put that right on there, and then this in here. There, there, that one. That looks better. Okay. <clears throat> and part of what makes this look greener is because there's some, um, some trees in there. This is coming down like this. And this is all going across here like so, so. And this little tree is in here. He's got lots of little green things. Now that I can do with my knife. Okay, I have a bug in my paint. I don't know how a bug got in here. All right, let's see here. Okay, we're seeing lots of little green businesses in here that are growing and coming down the side of this hill right here. Little. And there's bright yellow green coming down over in here in this area below the, the, um, Coming down to there. Okay. And this this green is all coming down into here. And then we have a tree that is coming right in. Okay, that's not that dark. Right in here is a tree trunk. And I'm gonna use a tiny brush now to um, describe that tree a little bit. The, bran the branches is kind of a really uh, a neat, neat tree, the way it's twisted and um, gnarled and everything. Can you imagine the force of the wind that goes through here and what these, these trees on these high bluffs like this that jut out over the canyon, the velocity of the wind, how difficult that must be for the, those trees to withstand that. It's, uh, I think that's pretty incredible how strong they are. Makes me think of the poor um, trees in California that I saw on the news the other night. They're having lots of distress because of the drought out there. But they say the sequoias, they say that they're probably will be okay because they've been through droughts before, but just the same, you know, a person worries. And you think, well, what the heck is going on here? Why does it have to be like that? Some areas have too much rain and other areas don't have enough. Why is it like that? Uh, and I guess we won't know those answers until Total hindsight will oh, give us those answers. We're not going to get them now, I know. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of, of uh, brushwork on the tree here and make him pop a little bit so he shows up a little bit better. There. I, 
I don't want to do too much to him because he's really, he really doesn't have a lot going on as far as greenery is concerned. Um, this is a little darker green right in here. This little grouping of, of sagebrush or plant life, whatever it is, that's growing right in there. That's a little darker. Okay. And I think I want to kind of pump up that edge right in here, though, so that we kind of get the feeling that that this is, and then this really, I, I don't have that right yet, gang. I'm going to have to come down on that to get that feeling of that coming down. See, the, the, the stroke that you use describes the movement of the object. And now that looks like that's going down. That's much, much better, much, much more readable as form movement. All right, there we go. And then we want that to just kind of drift off into the darkness. There we go. And I know I'm probably being way too picky here because it's taking too much, I'm taking too much time but I'm having fun. I hope you are too. That's what, you know, that's why I do this show. <laughs> I do this show to bring you joy and because it's a joyful thing for me to do. All right. Okay, let's see here. Get in here and kind of get a little, I know what I'm needing. I know what will make it look better. Some of this, my favorite color, Elizabeth and Crimson. A little bit of that in there. That'll give it a little touch of what I want there. Okay. In fact, that whole side is coming across like that. And then we have some of that in here, in here too. And we have a little bit here on the side coming down that's a little darker. And let's see here. Okay, we've got the bump there. This has got to match me more up with her neck and this has got to be a little bit lighter in here. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it out. All right, let me sit back a little ways. Okay. All right, I think what I'm seeing, that my problem is, is that the things in the back are not dark enough right around the, right around the um, area here. Let's see. Okay, well, I just got the sign that I'm halfway through the show. Am I halfway through what I'm doing here? No, but that's okay. We do what we can. We do what we can. There's nothing more that we can do than that. Do the best we can. There we go. Come on now, you, I want you to be just a little lighter. Right there. Okay, all right. Now then these need to be just a little bit darker. Coming through here and here. And then this is that nice red 
right in here coming around coming into this crack here this is kind of a lighter red right here I've got a stroke of bright right in there coming down and we've got some brights in here too then I'm just gonna and maybe a little more orange would help okay you're watching the mad woman as she tries to figure herself her way across this across this canvas and this is a journey today I'll tell you I don't know what prompted me to try tackle this but that's okay that's okay no no challenge no success right right Okay, there we go. We got. The, I like that bright right there. I don't know why, but I just turns me on. Okay, now this over in here is um, not quite as dark bright, Kitty. Tone it down now. Don't get too happy with that bright color. You'll be messing up. Okay, that's coming down like this. Now, I don't know what that is. It looks, this right area right in here, it looks like a, um, I had trouble with that last episode too, trying to figure out why that looks so white. I think I'll put a little darker in there. Um, yeah, but it's, defi it's definitely there. So I think we'll just have to throw it in. Let's see here. White, and I'm seeing some little piles of brush, sage brush. It's kind of a cool white mixed in with this. And then I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of do a patting, patting effect and see if I can get that to look like what I'm seeing there. Give it a little more of a textural approach to kind of, of um, get that to look right because it's definitely like a little, whoops, too much, too much. Okay. Um, We'll get a little green in there too. Okay, where was I? Right in here. All right, we'll get a little green in there too. Now this is definitely in front of what's behind there. So we've got to have this show up like it's more in the foreground. Um, we don't want to be copying the photograph slavishly. But we still want to have it look like it, you know, uh, you can see it. So, okay. And I'm not real crazy about that, but maybe with a few darks popped around in there, that'll help. Okay, and I really think what it needs is for me to come in behind with some of the dark again. And dark, if, you, if it's not light enough, it's because it's not dark enough. And that's one of the hardest things for some artists to understand. They keep wanting to add white to their paint to uh, make something get lighter. And the, the way the way to make something get lighter is to darken what's around it. And then it will show. As you can see here, that looks a lot better. Alrighty, okay. Now, um, really want some pretty um, bright areas here where, the, where I see the mountain So 
nice bright okay let's see here how about right in here down there and right in here a little bit right in here a little bit this is a little darker in here okay and that looks like it's a Maybe has a little more shape to it. Um, it's kind of a, a rounded thing right here that's kind of coming up and then there's a, a light thing coming right down in there. Okay. And then there's, we've got some reds down in here too. Um, that's not red enough right there. Well, once again, you've got me really working here. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that um, bounce back of the color. It's good, 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 good. Okay, and in here, just a little color. Okay. Um, I can always, if I find, when I close the show today, if I find that, that you know, that something that looks a little too garish, I can always tone it down. But it's better, I, I feel that it's better to go, uh, you know, a little, push a little further rather than to be too timid um, with, with this. This, this, is, this is such a grand place. It, to me, it really requires um, not a heavy hand, but a brave hand, a brave palette knife. Okay, let's see here. All right, there we go. A little cave in there. That's a little dark thing in there, kind of coming out in here, and this is going up. And this is coming down in here, right in there. So we can see the tree through the, um, I'm gonna put just a little bit of reflected light into the bottom of this over here. There we go. Okay, now then, we do see some reds down in here behind the trees. And we see some reds over in here. Oh, it's a little darker though. Let's calm that down a little bit. Don't get too happy here, kiddo. And that's all, that's all down in there. Now this right here, this beautiful place right in here where it's all kind of a violet look. Ooh, let me get at that. Let's see, violet, cobalt violet. Pretty, 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 pretty. Love that color. Sometimes to me, the paint is so yummy looking, I could just eat it. I mix up all these gorgeous colors, and of course I'd be one sick puppy if I did, but still, you know, it's like all the different shades of ice cream in the world. <laughs> okay, so now right in here we have, that's too light, so we scrape it out, or let's take our wipe, wipe out tool, wipe that off. That is way too light. What's the matter with me? Now we need a little more violet. There we 
go. All right, now we're gonna put that on there. Does that work? No, it's too blue. Wipe it out again. And as we close the show, she'll be saying, and wipe it out again. But that's okay, that's what we do. A little more of the violet. I bet I have it now. I think I have it. If I don't, we'll move on to something else. Because, yes, I have it. Here we go, I have it. So that's a nice kind of a violet color right in there. And it's kind of coming down in here. And it's a little bit, just a little bit coming over in here too. Now over that, I'm going to be putting my um, greens and that and this little log that you see. So I'm just kind of softening that in right there because everything is going to be coming over that. Um, before we get too far into it, I want to come back to this little tree here. It's a very important tree and I almost forgot about him. And I don't want to do that. So, I think I better go to the brush though. Um, where's that little brush? There it is. Okay. All right. Now he has a quite a thick trunk and he's sh short. You can see how the wind has just blown these trees at an angle. They've grown at an angle. Um, and he has a lot more foliage on him. And Okay, let's wipe this down. And I don't know if I got the 15 minute sign or not. Did I? Uh, maybe not. She's not showing me, so. Okay, I think maybe I might still be okay then. Sometimes the time flies so fast, you're not sure where you are. Okay, alrighty here. Okay, now we'll take the little knife and pat it on. Okay, now we've got quite a bit up in here. And, and you can see the texture. Well, I like texture. I like thick paint in a, in a painting. You know, if you're going to paint with another medium, such as watercolor or um, pastel, gouache, whatever, you know, go ahead, paint thin, you know. But if you're going to paint with oil, and you want it to really have the feeling of something, I think, uh, that is, a, a, is alive, then get that paint on there. That's what it's for. Don't be skimpy with it. Put it on, have fun. If it takes a year to dry, so what? You got time. minute sign. I was ahead of myself. Good, 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 good. That means we still have some time left. Okay. More, a little more of the dark on the opposite side here. Right in here. Oh, now that's a nice looking tree. Alrighty. 
maybe just a little more there. Is it showing up? It, you know, I, I look at the tree and I look at the relationship of the of what's around the tree and it doesn't seem light enough to me. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make more light, lighter and brighter light and come back up there and put that on right there. And I'm going to catch it in a couple of other places too. That, that light is very, very bright. And over here, of course, maybe a little bit in here. There we go. And that kind of, let's see here. This is going kind of up and out. Okay, there, that looks a little better. And I can soften this down a little bit so that it looks like it's a um, little more. I don't want that. Who put that there, huh? Who put that there? Did you do that, Kitty? All right, there we go. Okay, a little more dark behind it and right in there. Mm-hmm, that shows up pretty good. All righty. And that's coming down, and then this is, it comes in again. I don't want that to be too dark, but this comes in again in here, and then it's, it's uh, coming down there, and that seems to have a very light spot right in there. So it's always light against dark and dark against light. So that seems to be, no, that's not right. Um, that seems to be quite, um, quite light in this area right in here, yeah, okay. Okay, this is kind of coming down here. Okay, then, all right, then let's see here. Um, we have our, our um, log laying down here. I think I'll put that in and I'll switch back to the brush now. And there is that log and he's laying, coming right down here and then he goes this way and then he comes out and right there and so then he needs some light on him but it's a blue white it's, it's a cool white not not um, uh, just a little bit to kind of show him up here. Okay, and then there is that little spot that is right behind here that has, is a little lighter and a little more yellow right in there where he's coming out, and there's some of this right in this area here, too. Okay, and then there's some of that in the foreground, some of that same kind of a, of a 
uh, more golden yellow color right there in the foreground. And I'm probably not going to have time to uh, do the trees for you today. Um, uh, I think I'm not even going to attempt them. I think what I'm going to do is uh, finish up the painting and bring it to you uh, and show it to you on our next episode. It's, it's really looking very, very good and I don't want to ruin it by, in these last few moments we have together, by um, going in there and just throwing something on just to be throwing it on. I want it to, I'd rather spend a little more time just um, fussing with it and making, um, giving it some of the, the finer points that I want it to have to show you how to do that, yeah. All right, let's see here, and this is, we have an area here that's jutting out, and this is coming up, and this is a little bit shorter, right in there. There. Okay, and then this right in here, we need a bigger brush, Kitty. We need a little bit more of this in here. You know, I, I, I think it's just amazing that I was so ambitious and I really thought I was going to get this done, completed today. But there was more to it. The Grand Canyon is a tricky place. Don't underestimate it. It will fool you and make you look like a fool because you won't be able to do what you say you're going to do. There you go. And then we have some little things coming down there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, I do see some dark that I want to get in. Um, and it has green in it. And it's right over here. I'm, basically, I'm looking for areas where the darks are and putting them in. And because this is coming down here into this violet right in here and it's quite, quite dark right there. And then there's going to be that nice bright yellow, yellowish bush here and there's going to be a yellowish bush down there. But that violet looks really pretty. All of this is going to just be the, that kind of like scrub brushy look. We have a lot of greens coming down um, that are of a darker, darker nature. Um, coming right down in here. And there's this little tree there that I haven't done yet. And this is, this is quite a bit darker coming down right in here too, where all these trees are in there and coming down to that. So that kind of gives you a little idea of the darks and the lights. And, uh, and I still want this to, I want this to be, have a stronger um, look to it because that is so light and the only way that we can get that to be lighter is to darken what's behind it. As I've said before, it just, we want that to really pop right there and it's not popping the way it should. And it could be a couple of different reasons why. It could be that the paint isn't thick enough so that it has enough texture. Could just be the shape of it. Um, I might not have it shaped correctly. And maybe a little more shadow down on the bottom of it. Okay, we only have, I'm really sorry to say we only have five minutes left in the show today. I just got the five minute signal from Lacey. Hmm, I wonder what Lacey's going to do for her birthday. Hmm, 20. And I wonder what she's going to be doing tonight. I hope it's fun, whatever it is. There we go. And lots of cake and ice cream and good friends and family to share it with. There we go. Okay, now we will have this tree 
I'm just going to put just a little tip of this tree right there so that you can see where it's going to be because I know the time is clicking by quickly here. But you're going to see that tree right in there. Um, it's kind of make it brighter, Kitty. We need it to show up for the people at home. There you go. And there. Okay, now, as I said, it's not completed, but pretty darn near. I'll finish it at home. Um, and I think it will, I think you'll really, when you tune in, be sure and tune in to the next show. Because if you do, then you'll see, I promise, you'll see the, the painting completed. Um, and not like it is right now. Okay, so this has a little movement right in here, and then there's a little brush going down into here. And there's so much on this to paint that it's just too much fun, too much fun. And then next, next, our next show, I uh, had mentioned something about going to the ocean, in, uh, the Pacific Ocean in California, in Southern California. And I, I will be uh, painting the, uh, the Pacific Ocean in Southern California on our next show. So you'll want to be sure and tune in so that you can see how this one turned out and how the next one will be when I start it, so maybe that helps. Who knows? I know I want a little bump right there. Okay, this is just, we just got a couple minutes here left. I'm putzying around trying to poke a few more colors in here and soften some and, all right, there we go. Um, <laughs> maybe some darks in here. And I don't know. I'll have to take a really close look at this one, kids. But you know what they say, 50-50 chance, a mess or a masterpiece. So anyway, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Once again, this is Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klish. Be sure and catch our next show where you'll see this completed and you'll see me start the Pacific Ocean in Southern California. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered.